we pretty much talked about all the components involved in our sample Hibernate application. But one thing I feel that we left behind is to talk about this property, which is part of the config file. Here we can actually provide multiple options. So far, we've used this option update, meaning that we're asking Hibernate to check to see if there is any difference between the database schema and the schema that Hibernate is expecting based on the persistent class. Then we're asking Hibernate to make an update in the database to avoid any discrepancies. But we have multiple other options in here. We can also use create. When you use this option create, this will essentially drop or destroy all the data in the database and is going to recreate everything from scratch when we initiate the application. So let me just demonstrate what this means. So in my database, I don't have anything at all. And I'm going to run this. So as expected, it has created the table as well as it has inserted an entry. So now you should be able to see that. Let me run this program again. Let me terminate existing one and then let's run it. So you see that Hibernate has actually re-executed all these instructions. That's because prior to these, it has actually dropped the table employee. So when you give the option as create, it's going to destroy everything and then it will recreate everything from scratch. An update is similar to create, but it's not going to destroy anything. Only if there is a need to update the database schema, Hibernate will do that for us. The other option is validate and is pretty self-explanatory. So this option will allow Hibernate to check to see if there is any mismatch between the database and what it is expecting from the database. If there is a mismatch, then Hibernate is just going to throw an exception. So let's make sure that we drop our database or rather the table. So now employee table is not accessible. So Hibernate should ideally invalidate this and show us an exception. Let's run our program and see what's happening. And sure enough, it says schema management exception and is pointing to this employee table and is saying it is missing. And one last option that we can provide in here is to create drop. This is something interesting. This will create the schema when we initiate the session factory. And when we close the session factory, it's just going to destroy or drop all the tables in the database. So let's see an example of the same. And for this purpose, I'm actually going to close the session factory, close, and so let's run our program. Before that, let's terminate all existing process and run it. And here you notice that it has, it has dropped everything and then and then it has created the table along with it it has also added the entry as expected but when session factory is closed it has also dropped the employee table just as expected although this is a very cool feature we don't want to blindly rely on this in real world applications we don't want to use these options like update, create drop, etc. There's a little risk involved. So always it's better that you use a safe option like validate. And then a database administrator will take care of manually making sure that everything is intact. But for our examples, it's absolutely fine. We can use any of these options and they work very smooth. Hope it makes sense. See you soon.